So today we're going to take a look at hex drive torquing screwdrivers ranging from roughly $30 all the way up to 90. So if you look at this table I did put together here, the Quinn is 10 to 50 inch pounds, plus or minus 6% lifetime warranty made in Taiwan. The Wheeler mechanical style is 10 to 65. What's interesting is plus or minus two inch pounds up to 40. And then above 40, it is plus or minus 5%. Then the digital wheeler is 15 to 100 inch pounds with plus or minus 2% for that full range. And the San Lang is 10 to 70 inch pounds, plus or minus 6% of that 20 to 70 inch pounds, and then plus or minus 20% for that 10 to 20. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these and then I will get them on the test stand. So the San Ling, probably saying that wrong, plastic blow motor case, set of instructions that, but we don't have a certificate of calibration. Nice little foam insert and a small assortment of common hex bits. So your scale and then your single digits, it's probably hard to see there, are in that sight glass. So the Quinn here with a solid plastic latch, instructions and a calibration certificate. Again, small assortment here of bits, rubberized grip with the scale here and also around the grip we have the individual number. To make the adjustment, pull down on this lock. Wheeler here, this is the mechanical. Set of instructions, calibration certificate. Uh, the case is a hard plastic. It's kind of, feels kind of cheap, uh, but it does come with bits more commonly found in use for gunsmithing. So you have some rubber here on the grip, your scale in the center there, but we do not have single digit readout anywhere. So Wheeler Digital, same case, same bits, Set of instructions, calibration certificate there. Uh, it did come with two batteries. I did install one battery, pretty simple, under this cover. Now to use, of course, you're gonna turn it on here and then change the units if you need to. If not, you can see there, you can go up in 0.1 at a time for inch pounds. Well, let's go ahead and see how these test. So I have exercised all the mechanical ones we're gonna start with the San Lang, and we are set to 15. Again, this range is plus or minus 4%, and this tool actually in that 10 to 20 is plus or minus 20%. Quinn here at 15. Wheeler at 15. And then the Wheeler Digital here at 15. Quinn at 25. Wheeler there at 25. Wheeler Digital 25.
when you look at this table here, it might be a little bit confusing. What's in green is actually under the accuracy spec by the manufacturer. And of course, red here is over. Now, one thing I will say on the digital torque wrench side, I found it a little bit hard to control. You could probably dial it in a little better and get higher accuracy, but in a real life scenario, I found it pretty tricky with this type of grip. Another thing to note, the Quinn did well at the lower and mid range, but when we tested that upper range, yeah, it was definitely out of that plus or minus 6% of what they're claiming. So we go ahead and cycle all these each a thousand times. We'll come back, test them again, and see if the accuracy is about the same. So I went ahead and cycled them each a thousand times. We'll go ahead and run the same cycle here and we'll see if the accuracy did hold. After that 1,000 cycles, things here got a little bit interesting. So San Ling on the bottom end, it was supposed to be 20%. Yeah, we were at 21.80. Even when we factor in the plus or minus 1% of the tester, we're still at 20.80. So we're above that accuracy there. And then when we get to 25 inch pounds, this is where we we're supposed to be plus or minus 6%. And you can see we're 13.45. And even when we factor in the tester, we're very, very far away from the, that plus or minus six. And even when we're on the high end, we are still above that plus or minus 0.6%. So after cycling that one, it didn't fare very well. Quinn, pretty much the same story and pretty much the same deal with the mechanical wheeler. Now again, with the digital, I think the accuracy is there. I just had trouble uh, trying to dial it in. So overall the sand lane, yeah, it tested well right out of the box, but after we did a thousand cycles, mm, yeah, not so good. I'm also gonna put the digital torque screwdriver to the side as well. Again, I don't care for how hard it is to control versus a click style where you just rotate it over, it clicks, and that's it. So I switched testers. Again, this goes up to 100. Let's just test this here if we could even get it up to 100. Ah, looks like I hit about 102. That's quite tricky with this grip. I don't really care for this grip at all. It would have been nice to see this display down around here. Maybe the buttons on the side of here and then a quarter drive where you could put a little breaker bar here and torque it right on in. So that leaves the Quinn and the Wheeler. The Wheeler is definitely accurate. Uh, the problem that I have with this is how poor these instructions are. You're supposed to look at this photo and it's gonna show you exactly where the line should be for 30 inch pounds. Can you, can you see from that photo? I mean, I can't, but if you're gonna make these instructions, at least make them usable. Cause with this one, you really need to know where to have that line because you don't have any indication here of your single digits. I found at least with this one, that if you say you want 10 here, you want the line for the 10 near the bottom of the red line. You know, it definitely was accurate there, just lining it up, but again, you could really dial that in if you had smaller indication here on the adjustment. Versus the Quinn, so the Quinn has easy to read, and then you have those single digits around the handle. But yeah, it didn't test very well on that upper end. So to me, you buy one of the two. If you're not gonna be using it near the upper end, sure, go with the Quinn. If you're gonna be using that full range, I'm gonna have to tell you to go with the regular click style wheeler. I just would have liked to seen a little more indication here to know you are exactly at what you wanna be, similar to this one. So you have it. My pick would be either the Wheeler or the Quinn. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.